Totemic Evidence lets us summon four basic totems for just one mana, which on its own doesn't sound that impressive, but when we combine it with the Shaman Quest line that doubles all spells we cast for the rest of the game, that means we can summon seven minions with a single one mana spell. Then, after we fill our board with totems, we can cast Bioluminescence, which gives all of our totems spell damage. With double Bioluminescence, that gives us 28 spell damage, because those are also doubled by the Shaman Quest line. And then we can just cast some Burn Spell, which will also be doubled, and just based off the spell damage, that'll be 56 damage to the opponent, plus whatever that spell did to start with. Now, Quest Shaman itself kind of sucks, but it turns out it's pretty good when a finished quest can lead to a three-card OTK. I haven't played against much Rogue today. Alright, Feral Spirit is nice. Yep, gotta be some wolves. Three mana sprint. I think I just toss this here. I could use it to kill the, uh, the 2-2, two -two, but I don't really see what I gain by doing such a thing. This finishes part of the quest. And I think I hold the lightning bolt. I'll leave myself the possibility of playing Don't Stand in the Fire next turn. Oh. Okay. Well, have to beat my opponent before they can Denathrius me, but that's just standard, right? What does Multicaster look like? I don't think I've played anything for Multicaster yet, which is kind of sad. But I also don't really want to waste Don't Stand in the Fire, so I'll just chill. I need to make totems anyway. Freaking objection, dude. Objection is the most annoying secret in the game. Somehow it ends up being like five times as annoying as Counterspell. Alright, well, good spot to not stand in the fire. Ten damage. I do have totemic evidence and bioluminescence already. Maybe I want to avoid wasting this lightning bolt. And hey, there's a lightning storm for me anyway. This totemic evidence doesn't really matter, unless I get, like, Theotard. He's standing directly in the fire. Why would he do that?
Okay, Sleep Breaker for if I ever find my other multicaster. I have no clue what this contraband stash does. Gains a shitload of armor. Okay, some two twos, that's fair enough. And then they get toppled. Alright, well. My opponent gains some armor, which ends up just being really, really annoying for me. Need to play three more overloads. Oh, this is infused, so I don't need to hero power here. I think I'm just going to freeze my own sleep breaker. Okay, that's good. Alright, we made some progress this turn. Only 15 damage. How pathetic. Now I just... Oh, okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Fun card. Fun, cool card. Alright, Brucon online. That means this wind chill draws two, which is nice. I can also just throw down some totems as Denathrius damage sinks, I guess. And if they kill these totems, it infuses this. Of course they have Gigafin. What else would they have? Oh, and then they get Brucon. That's scary. I don't even remember how big Denathrius was. I think it was 15. So they're showing 19 here. Did I kill anything else since then? I don't know. I think I need to play this to have a chance at winning the game. Need to find my bolts and overdrafts. And hey, I drew zero copies of those, so that's great. Uh, Denathrius costs too much for that. This is still bad, though. I'm at 27. I don't know. The problem is, like, well, actually, maybe, no, it's just too hard to draw into my damage spells. I have three damage spells in my bottom four cards. Does this keep me alive? It gives me 12 health. I don't think so. Alright, well, if I'm not dead here, I have a very good chance at lethal next turn. Yeah, that doesn't kill me. I do have to play Overdraft before the second Bioluminescence, though. Can I cast Overdraft at face when I'm not overloaded? I don't know. I also don't know if this is lethal.
Oh, I can't. Wait, that did so much more damage than I thought it was going to do. I was not accounting for the overdraft casting twice. Did I miss lethal? I'll have to go back and check. Uh, this is a nice cheap overload card, which is nice. But it doesn't fuel multicasters, so I think I toss it. So Renathal, but no quest from the opponent. I guess that means it's Thief Priest, probably. I don't think any of my cards are going to be that useful for the opponent. Hey, that's a card that's useful for me. So I'm hoping that next turn can be Lightning Bolt plus Perpetual Flame. That would be a good way to finish the first part of my quest and give me a two-part multicaster. Alright. Well, two multicasters in hand, so I'm pretty happy to do this, I think. Probably the best card they could have stolen from my deck. Maybe Command of Neptalon's a little better. Definitely one of the good ones, though. Hey, there's a Frost spell for the second multicaster. So I can draw a lot of cards next turn. Which is good, because somehow I have six cards in my hand, and none of them have Overload. So, that's... interesting. Freeze. Oh, we've got some spell damage. Seven cards in hand, so I can play Multicaster here. Okay, lots of Overload picked up this turn. I do need to make sure I'm playing around Theotar and Mutanus. But that should be pretty easy when I have a couple very cheap Overload cards. That's fine. Buff it up. It still dies to Slogger. Or even still dies to Command of Neptalon. Probably Command Hero Power, because I do need to make some totems. More totems. Definitely thought about going Zapper Bolt on one of the four health minions there, but I do think it's important to hold on to at least one cheap overload card, and I don't have that many cheap overload cards left. Okay, I think that gives two discounts, not too many. This is a very weak turn from the opponent. And quite a good turn for me. Is there any world where I play Brukan next turn? I have 8 mana, so I'd have to draw into my other novice zapper. And have board space. 
What are you stealing? Oh, that's annoying. What the heck? That's annoying, but I honestly don't think it's that big a deal. That's way more annoying. Holy shit. But I do have two lightning storms. I have two don't stand in the fire. Those would be, both be uh, really good draws here. And there's one of them. Need to play three more overload cards. I think I'm just making a totem this turn. They can play another Brucon here, but is that ideal? I think my opponent's going to be pretty disappointed by the bioluminescences and totemic evidences they're being presented with right now. Wow, you fool. Your 7-4 will fall to my 6-4. That's a one stat benefit for me. Oh, wait. I can just play Brucon here. And now I basically just need to draw Overdraft, right? And I needed to make another totem. I could play a totemic evidence here to infuse the other totemic evidence, but I'm a little bit scared of getting Theotard. Okay. Did they even have to play Lightning Bolt? Probably. I'm sure they did the basic math. Well, I would like to draw two cards here, so let's play Sleep Breaker. Guess I will make a totem while I'm at it. There's an overdraft. If I draw my other overdraft, then I can kill this totem and then infuse this and then play more totems. I actually don't even know if I need to kill this totem. What if I just play two small totemic evidences? It still gives me four, five, 20. Oh, I don't need this to die. Okay, cool. This is what we call checkmate, unless my opponent does anything, in which case maybe it's not checkmate, but it's still pretty good. Okay, that's the non-checkmate card. Probably gonna steal bioluminescence, so I'll need to draw my other overdraft. I'm not totally sure that my opponent even knows what I'm doing, though. So they might not understand the gravity of the situation they're in. Maybe they just want a canal slogger. Okay, they took the totem card. Oh, but then they threw the game. Okay. We make seven totems. We apply a large amount of spell damage. And this should be lethal. Just a casual 56 damage to the face. Please don't be aggro druid. That's all I ask. Definitely like Sleep Breaker since it's my only frost spell for multicaster and it's also just good on its own. And Lightning Bolt's a nice cheap overload. Alright, no Rinnethal from the opponent, so probably about to have a bad time. I did draw a board clear this game, which is more than I can say of the last time I played this matchup. So that's good.
I think I do need to storm here so I don't get buffed in some way. Could play Perpetual Flame if I want to not have a turn four. But the thing about having a turn four is that it's usually pretty good. So stick with the Lightning Storm and then I can afford to play either Flame or Zapper Bolt next turn. I think Bioluminescence will probably not be very good in the matchup. Let's hold on to the Flame. Especially with the Novice Zapper, the Flame can be really good. Although if I do go Zapper Flame, the uh, Flame doesn't quite line up with the uh, unoverload effect of my quest. I can punch into that and then play Flame. It's still not a great Flame. But I've got Command of Neptalon for next turn, so it's probably the play. Pew, 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 pew. And then even with one Overload, I can still play Command on five or on uh, six mana. That seems like a bad turn. What do you do? I've played a Lightning Bolt, a Perpetual Flame, and a Wind Chill, right? So you draw three. But you also draw three next turn. Uh, this is 13, and then on turn eight, I can shoot my opponent for six. Maybe I'm the beatdown. Oh, also, I think Lightning Bolt and Overdraft are just lethal. I can go Totem Bioluminescence, and then I have six spell damage. Well, that's not it. A little late on the Bolt. Oh, I think we just play this and win the game. Easy. I'm afraid you've been tempoed. I didn't quite put them in range of Brukan, but Brukan's not playable next turn anyway. In fact, nothing is playable next turn because my opponent's freaking dead. Oh boy, Warlock. My favorite class that is aggro and then has infinite burn damage in the late game. I definitely don't think I can perpetual flame a single minion. This looks very lightning stormable. Again, we don't want to flame a single minion. And maybe I just want to play Command of Neptalon this turn. I do not. I want to play Perpetual Flame. So if I play Flame here, I overload for 
four. I can actually play Dungeoneer here. And then next turn I'm on two mana, I can go Lightning Bolt, which unlocks my mana crystals, and then I can play Command of Neptalon or Don't Stand in the Fire, whichever is more appropriate. Seeds of Destruction is a pretty good card when you immediately draw a 3-3 the turn after your board gets cleared. Alright, this is definitely Bolt Command here. Maybe it's Bolt Don't Stand. No, nah, no, nah, it's Bolt Command for sure. Because to Don't Stand in the Fire, I have to Bolt anyway. And like, at this point, I'm playing a 5 mana board clear on 4 power. I don't think so. Command of Neptalon. Oh, this is actually a really good Don't Stand in the Fire. When they have exactly 10 health, surely you gotta show them where the fire is. Another Seed of Destruction. That time it was actually good that it was delayed, though, because Don't Stand in the Fire wouldn't have cleared if they had three more health. Good turn for me. Is my opponent just not playing curses? Kind of seems like it. I don't think you have room to play Amalgam of the Deep and Shady Bartender and Demonic Assault and Seeds of Destruction. Seems like it's just not a curse deck. Which they are probably going to regret, because if they had curses, they would win the late game for free. Because of how good the design of those cards is. Alright, well this draws three cards now, I believe. What are you at? Okay. So, I can just play Brukan next turn with Feral Spirit, Novice Zapper, right? Lord Jaraxxus. Wow. My opponent's just having a good time over there, aren't they? So I do still need to make some totems for this totemic evidence. But when I do that, I've got a bioluminescence and an overdraft already. Not more seeds of destruction. Well, don't stand in the fire is a big old board clear here. I don't have lethal, do I? 10, 13, 15, 17. This gives me 10, 14 spell damage. I believe this is lethal. Oh, I get to pick. Let's have strength totem. This should do a lot of damage. Oh, that was lethal on its own. Damn. Nice. 